question number 11 so the x and y both emit waves of wavelength 0.4 meter okay lambda is given to be 0.4 meter it's a constant phase difference of phi radians between the sources what does it tell you it doesn't tell you that it is a phase difference between the waves it tells you the phase difference between the sources okay so let me write down phase difference between the sources between the sources is equal to phi radians phi radians point p is 5.2 meter point uh, from x and uh, 4 points from 6 meters from y the amplitude of each wave is a okay, here also it's a here also it's a what is the amplitude of the resultant wave c see this resultant depends upon what is the phase difference between these two waves okay so coming out from here now with respect to x and y this already introduces a pi radius now if i take the path difference between these two what is the path difference between these two 5.2 minus 4.6 which is equal to how much 0.6 meters okay is it a multiple of 0.4 no it's not a multiple of it okay so therefore if i take see this is the longest part this shortest part if i take yeah if i take this as my compass point and draw an arc of a curve i will get something like this so here probably there could be three waves there could be three waves like this over here okay so definitely this is introducing another path difference of pi radians okay so you get another phi 2 which is introducing another pi radians over here okay so the total path difference the total path difference that i get over here is going to be two pi radians two pi radians one path difference due to the sources the other path difference due to the waves that they are emitting so as a result of it total path difference is going to be two pi radians now as a result of it what kind of wave do i get here you will always get a bright fringe what is the intensity of this bright fringe or what is the amplitude of it amplitude of it would be larger it will be equal to 2 a over here so that intensity becomes 4 a square which you already learned okay what is the value of the intensity how do you get right so therefore the answer here is b